Every morning on our one acre farm, we start the day with milking goats. You, you mean we milk the goats. <laughs> you, no, you don't milk the goats ever. No, no, not anymore. No. no. Now, see, because I've, I've taken my knowledge and I've oh, transferred so, it to you. So you don't need it anymore. We <laughs> just we have it. The first person we let in is Willow. We don't milk her, but she kind of gets bullied. Yeah, so we feed her a little bit separately than the others. And Penny's waiting to be let in too. Normally she would run from us. But she knows there's food. Yeah, she only comes by if there's food. Uh oh, we better hold Doris back. All right, come on Penny, you can come in. Willow gets her little extra food this morning. Private feeder over here. She knows exactly where to go. How's her tail ligament feel this morning? Ooh, it feels so close. <laughs> hey, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty loose. So Willow we thought was due April 8th, but now we kind of adjusted the due date. We think that she's gonna deliver before April even gets here. So, <laughs> it's okay. So uh, just a couple weeks here and we've just been watching her really closely. She's our favorite little goat here on the farm. I mean, I say favorite, but I've said, I've said that every one of them's our favorite, but she is so sweet. And so we're excited to see her have babies for the first time. I know you guys are too. Come on, Willow, you can do it. Most of the time people own bigger goats, but we choose to milk these little Nigerian goats. And somebody just asked me, are the teats too small to milk? But Ethan uh, has pretty big hands and he can still do really it. Doable. Yeah. yeah. It's just different. Like I don't, I don't use my entire hand like I would with a bigger goat. I'm the pig person and she's really squealing, so I gotta go feed her real quick. All right, Hermione, there you go. That's Hermione's breakfast, and she's got six little piglets with her. They're just starting to eat in the trough with her. Were you gonna do some kind of like lower thing for them to eat in? Yeah, I need to because they can't be inside the trough while she's eating. She doesn't like it. These little faces are so cute. We have a fun toy for the piglets later today, but we gotta get back to the chores. Okay. All right, Penny. Thanks for your contribution. Bye. <laughs> and she won't come over to us again till the next morning. <laughs> Willow is Penny's daughter, but Willow is super, super friendly. Yeah. She doesn't like to leave the feeder after she's, she's done. She's always, she really won't. Come on, come on. She really doesn't want to leave. <laughs> okay, leave her there for a little that bit. That happened to me one morning. She would not leave. But okay. Yeah, she just wants to eat her food a little bit longer. All right, she can stay in here. Willow's okay. like a really responsible kid that we can trust. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Maybe we should lock her up just to be safe. No, she'll be okay. She'll be safe. Be okay. She won't mess anything up. Let's go take care of the chickens. Oh, I can almost fit my head through here. <laughs> This Don't one. do it, you're gonna get stuck. Okay, I won't. <laughs> All right. Oh, that chicken's really scary. Like, I see those eggs, but I feel like she's gonna get me. <laughs> She'll be fine. Oh, she's pretty, she's pretty nice to the stick. Okay, she likes the stick, that's a good sign. <laughs> Just, uh, Just hold on real quick. There we go. Okay, there's, she's got a lot more back there, but. Like, we need to put some more little pine shavings in here. They've kind of kicked them all out. She's in a trance, I don't know if she's gonna even. You okay, chicken? Yeah. Apparently. Just go for it. <laughs> Sorry, chicken. <laughs> she's probably got more under her, do you want me to see? No, just you can leave her, I guess. Thank you. Oh no, you can tell already that she wants to murder somebody. <laughs> oh. I know. I don't. Okay. <laughs> don't poke her. Let's see. Ooh, it's a mess in there. She cracked an egg, probably. Don't. Don't peck me. All right. That's enough. I will let you sit on a couple of them. We'll get them later. 
Feeding time is always a frenzy. We've got Doris, who is the most dominant, and then Luna swinging her big old head. Then we've got all the rest that are just kind of at the bottom. Look, see, there's Doris. She's trying to bully yeah, so Tilly. Yeah, Doris bullies Tilly, but Tilly bullies Willow. Oh my so gosh. There's this whole, I don't there's know, this I whole don't tier know of all yet. of it. I still think maybe we should move this feeder over in the middle so they have more space to walk around <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, I know what you mean. So since Willow's at the bottom of the totem pole, she gets to eat separately. But we've got the two babies from last year. We've got Fern and Stella. We've got Luna, big old Luna here. Little Tilly, Penny, and Doris. So you still think that that guy's a rooster because he's so big? No, I don't think so. But she's way bigger than the other ones. These are called liege fighter chickens. They're way bigger than normal chickens, and they're supposed to protect against aerial predators. But boy, do they eat a lot. They eat a lot. They weigh three times as much, but they're the gentlest and the nicest of all the chickens. Even though they're the liege fighters, you can just hold them and pet them because where we rescued them from, they had hand raised them. Well, oh, well. No, Willow. <laughs> we so trusted no, Willow. <laughs> <laughs> we trusted you, Willow. Oh. All right, oh, Ethan, will you help get her down? Come on, Willow. You're frightened. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right. Here you go. See you later, Willow. Have a good day. I'll wait to see your golden smile. Feel of a thousand kisses Oh, stay a while I reach up to hold Your sunlit face Feels like a hand Look, we've got avocado flowers And you know what flowers means? It means fruit Well, that is if they turn into fruit So I'm putting lots of compost down and lots of mulch. I've fertilized it, we've watered it a lot, so crossing our fingers, guys, this is the first year that we get avocados. The strawberries are doing really well. They've all popped up, and a few of them have started to flower, which I'm gonna pick off the flowers. Flowers normally turn into fruit, but the first year with strawberries, you're supposed to pick the flowers off, which is kind of annoying, but it's gonna mean more strawberries for next year. I also haven't shown this yet, but I planted six more dwarf mulberry trees in our yard. You can tell that we love mulberries, right? We've got a big male mulberry here, and then we've got, I planted more females. So we've got one, two. On the other side of the pond, I planted three. And look guys, after only three years, our almonds have started to produce. Isn't that crazy? We've got a bit of garden work to do this morning. It's so gorgeous outside, and there are so many things growing, so it's pretty exciting. All right, we harvested the last of the broccoli. We've got the plants for the goats. Now we're gonna put zucchini. The best part is that none of this goes to waste. It becomes a meal for all of the goats. It can be hard to get their attention though. I know. <laughs> Luna! Oh, they're laying down! <laughs> they're too tired. Look at her. Oh, here they come. Oh, here they come. Yeah. Now they'll get up. Come on, oh, Luna, run! Yes, you don't have to run your pregnant with like a million babies. <laughs> Doris is determined to get over here first. Oh, oh wow. Lord, Look no how Lord. much. Look how fat Doris is. I know. When you see her straight on, it kind of. Come on! Come on, Luna! Penny's coming. Bringing up the rear. And there's Penny. And Willow just doesn't. Willow finally gets the feeder to herself. That's why she goes, she stays over there. 
I thought I'd pull together everything that we've harvested from the backyard today so you guys can check it out and um, get excited about your own garden starting soon. If you're starting to garden, you better be starting to garden, right? Got some rainbow chard, carrots, green onions, some broccoli florets. They were starting to flower and so we hurried and picked them. I think I'm gonna try to make a soup out of them and then we'll eat some of them fresh. I've got some celery. I've got like 20 times this left in the garden, so we gotta eat this up before it gets uh, too hot here. Bunch of snap peas, some parsley, little tiny teeny pepper that Lydia picked, and then of course the eggs, and little Penny's milk. So when the three goats that are pregnant deliver in a few weeks here, that would give us enough milk now to last the whole rest of the year. We gotta let the babies drink a little bit first before we take our dibs, but um, that's gonna definitely help us because we can make yogurt with it, obviously make fun things like ice cream, and then we can bake with it. I'm excited because chickens are lame, goats are gonna have babies and we're gonna have milk soon, garden is looking great, the pond's looking great, so far so good. As you guys have seen, a couple of the big catfish died. We used them in the garden, but there's lots of smaller ones that are still growing and we're gonna grow them really big for the fall. Yeah, I don't know how long it'll take them to grow, maybe five, six months yeah. or longer. Yeah. We have failed so much on growing fish, but we're not gonna give up, right, Kevin? Nope. We're gonna keep feeding them, keep trying to get this to work. Okay guys, tonight is a special dinner because I'm gonna take everything from the garden and turn it into a quiche. Whenever I make something like a pie or just something that has lots of fat in it, I always like to make it with whole wheat flour. So then I'm adding something healthy to it. Once my pie crusts are all ready to go, I'm gonna blind bake them in the oven for about 15-20 minutes. I realized I had just enough dough left over to make little homemade popovers. Just a little bit of pie dough, some strawberry jam, fold it over and we're good. I'm gonna cook that later when we cook the quiches. This quiche is gonna have a bunch of stuff in the garden. So we've got broccoli, Swiss chard, green onions, and then some bacon, cheese, and a mixture of eggs and milk. The trick to making a good quiche is you have to have the perfect ratio of eggs to milk. So be sure to follow the recipe that I'll put in the description exactly when you do this. That's it, delicious homegrown dinner with lots of garden fresh vegetables in it. And we can't forget the dessert. Yes, all the jam pooped out, but hey, they're still good. Okay guys, pigs are supposed to really like balls. I think they're gonna like the red one because red is very visual, don't you think? Uh, it seems kind of big. I don't think they'll like it because it's not Ready, filled up. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh, they want that one. That one. Get it, get it, get it. There's Tilly over there. Hermione, get out of here, you're all muddy. Yes. Is that fun? We left them deflated so they could bite it and get a piece of it. Get it, get it. Oh, guys, look, Hermione likes it too. She's gonna bite it. Hermione, you're yeah. gonna pop it. Pop it. Man, guys, Harry Spotter is huge. He's the biggest one of the bunch. He is. <laughs> Tilly, do you like the pigs? <laughs> you're way too wet. I don't want to pet you right now. Aww. He's a little wet. Aw, oh, give them a pet, Lydia. They bite your, they bite everything. <laughs> they bite you. Like little demons. Oh, there they go. <laughs> oh, here's food for mama. Look at, there's Rose fighting over there. Be nice. Teddy right there is the only one that has the double waddles on his face. That little piece of skin that hangs down. Look at him in the feeder. Oh, look, they're starting to eat the food. 
That's not how you do it. You're never gonna keep these piggies out of the feeder, Kevin. Harry really wants them. <laughs> there you go. There he was squealing go. until he got in there. Harry. Oh. His leg <laughs> you can do it, Harry. You can do it. There you go. Aww. Dobby can't get in. Dobby, go, Dobby. Jump. Jump. No. Did it come in? Oh. oh, Hermione said no. All right, I don't really put milk in my shoes. I was just saying that. <laughs> they just like to eat all shoes. But some people are worried that I actually do fill my shoes with <laughs> cups of milk. Nope. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you guys are all doing well as we're all kind of in isolation and not leaving our houses. It feels super surreal. But we're just gonna keep plugging away here and getting ready for baby goats. So if you wanna take a full tour of our farm and see lots of drone shots, then go ahead and click here to watch that tour. It was about six months ago when the whole place was green, so it's kind of fun to see. All right, we'll see you later. Have a great day.